this last weekend we went fishing and we caught two red drum or red fish and now we're gonna put them to good use and make some fish patties. In Italian we call these polpette di pesce and we're gonna add some really good things to it. So you could do this in the food processor but we decided to just do it this way. Normally here people cut the head off but this is kind of like the jaw of the fish and it is absolutely delicious meat. So don't throw it away. Our two fillets have been well chopped. Now we're gonna set these aside and get going with some of the herbs. Here we have some small capers, as well as some thyme. This is a lemon thyme. Then we'll also put some garlic in here. Go and we'll mince this as well. Let's put a little heat in there as well so that we get the stem off and we'll chop this in there as well. Now we're going to pick it up and put it in with the fish and then we'll chop up some parsley. Put some in and then the rest we will use for garnish. Once again, you can use a mezzaluna or a knife. The parsley goes in. And now, the zest of this lemon. We'll give it just a nice hint, citrus hint. That will be so good. Here we have some breadcrumbs. Place these in. Salt to taste. Then here, one egg. And we'll mix everything up really well. And there are no tools better than your hands to get some of the job done. In one bowl, we're gonna put the breadcrumbs. And in the other instead, we're gonna crack two eggs and whisk them. bit of salt even in here and this is where we will dip the fish patties. We're gonna get small portions like so and try to keep them as uniform as possible. Roll them right in here in this egg and from here we're gonna roll them the breadcrumbs. Let's set them aside right here. And we're going to keep doing this until they're all done. And this will be so, so nice as a, a main dish. It could even be an appetizer. There we go. Roll them right in here. These could also be deep fried but we chose to do it the healthier way and place them in the oven. Our pan has been preheating and now we're gonna do the best part. Put our pulpit in and then place them in the hot oven. Just a little drizzle of olive oil over the top and then our pulpette are ready to be placed into the oven. Let's place these beauties in. We're gonna close the door and allow the oven to do its magic. Let's pull them out. And let's peek underneath. Oh yes, they're ready to be flipped. We're gonna flip them all. And then Add the olives and place them back in the oven. It does not take them long at all to cook. Now we're going to add our olives right in here and place it back in the oven. Let's 
peek inside. And see where they are. <gasps> they look great. We're gonna take them out of the pan and then make a wine reduction. Just gonna place them in this pan. And then we have some lemon wedges. And of course the white wine that we're gonna put in here. Here are our lemon wedges. And then on top of these, we're gonna pour our white wine and place this back in the oven and allow it to sfumare, the wine to cook out. Let's place this back inside. Oh yes, look at there, it has nicely reduced. And now we taste it, just a little bit of salt and we'll place the pulpette back in here to heat up. And here we are ready to serve these beauties and this is going to be an incredibly good lunch i can't wait to get everybody around the table and spend some time together as we enjoy this beautiful drum fish now we're going to also put some um, lemons around something to pick them up because they're hot these around as well. We'll also spread the olives around and the slight bitter from the olives with this beautiful fish is also going to be very good. And all that is left to do now is to wish you un buon appetito. <laughs>